welcome to The Sims 3 Rewind. Please hit like and subscribe and the little bell icon for notifications. Hello, hello Simroos. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Vicky and I have been doing a Sims 3 Rewind which basically means I have uninstalled all the Sims 3 packs on my computer and I'm installing them one by one to explore them fully and to see what their full potential is. Now this video um, ranking all the expansion packs in a tier list was supposed to be done as one of my very first videos but as you can probably imagine I got excited and I just wanted to get going so I totally forgot to do this so I'm <laughs> going to do it now for you. So this is my initial thoughts essentially and I want to see after my rewind how my decisions and my opinions change. I have done the ranking system uh, myself. I have changed the names of them because I thought it would be fun. So in my you need it list is this is hotter than Hank Goddard. Enable llamas. You've got to have a few llamas references in The Sims and that is my I love that. I love the little llama references and you, you, I love those packs. Right goopy carbonara. It's okay. It's one of the dishes that they make. They can, you can make it quite early on. Goopy carbonara is a sort of dish that you'd like it, but you could probably get bored of it quite quickly. You could just make it over and over again. Magical gnomes. This is very much a meh category. I mean, magical gnomes, they're very weird. What do they do? I mean, yeah, they're worth like a thousand simoleons or something, but they're very annoying. So this is very... I decided to call this meh category magical gnomes. Tragic clown. Bad. Bad pack. Not that the Tragic Clown was bad. The Tragic Clown was a, a legendary character. But I feel like that would be, that's a good name. You know, it's a tragic pack, basically. And the ultimate bad pack, Katy Perry Sweet Treats. This was already in here and lots of people have used it. And it's just hilarious. This is the burn pack. Just burn it. Nothing else to be said. Do you know what? how I love about these, these, this ranking, by the way? Whoever created this tier list, they've put them all in order of release. That makes me very happy because I'm a bit OCD and I'm obviously doing my rewind in order of release. So they've done all the expansion packs first, then they move on to the stuff packs, again in order of release of the stuff packs, and then they've put in uh, the Sims 3 Worlds after that. World Adventures was the very first um, pack to come out. Gave you three different worlds to explore. Al Simhara, Shang Simla, Champs Le Sims. The fact that they were real places kind of bothered me because I like the fact that Sims is an alternative universe to me. So I found that a bit odd and I never really played it when it first came out. And it really bothered me that this felt like an add-on game and you had to come out of your Sim world to go and do these adventures and it just added a completely different spin on the sims and when it first came out I, I, honestly i didn't really like it so i'm going to put that in the meh category controversial right ambitions i think this has got to go in hotter than hank goddard it adds so much it adds uh sculpting inventing and tattooing as skills very cool you get careers you could actually go to work with them like the firefighter and the ghost hunter investigator and all that lot brilliant and also it gave us self-employed careers as well it just gave us so much this pack it was epic that is a need pack late night this is going to be controversial i reckon as well i didn't really like late night i don't like bridgeport i don't like the city i hate elevators i hate subways i hate celebrities i hate paparazzis didn't really like vampires at that point either. And what else did it add? Like different bars and things, but we already had them. So I'm going to put that in bad. It probably wasn't a bad pack. And I know lots of people love it, but honestly, I reckon I could live without it. I just don't have any interest in it. By the way, again, disclaimer, this might change once I've played Late Night in its entirety. So, you know, and that's coming up quite soon because it's obviously the third pack. So again, opinions might change. Sims 3 Generations. It doesn't come with a world, so that's a negative. However, right, do you know what? It's going in the love pack. It adds so many interactions for kids and teens. Uh, it adds the daycare profession. Oh, you can get the new imaginary friends for the kids and babies. Like, I know lots of people don't like that, but I actually really like it. And actually, all the objects that come with it, like the new 
um, outdoor play areas and stuff. It's brilliant. I actually do. I love this pack. I absolutely love it. And for families, it is brilliant. Pets. This has to go in my needs. It comes with Appaloosa Plains, which is the world. And I love this world. Considering I am a Sunset Valley fiend and I live in Sunset Valley all the time, I really like Appaloosa Plains. I love the wild, the wild animals. In my real life, I'm not really like an animal type person. I don't actually have any pets. But I love the fact that you can control the dogs, cats, horses, the minor pets. Like the fact you can just go around the town and there's snakes and... Uh, rodents and birds and turtles and things just kind of on the floor I just love it it just makes it feel real and alive and I love pets showtime this came with starlight shores and I don't think I've ever played in starlight shores I think it sounds like a pack I would kind of like based on the title of it but honestly it's so immemorable I, you get the acrobat magician and singer career you get anything else i don't know it probably works well with late night but as i don't really like late night i'm gonna stick that with the bad as well because i can't even really remember it supernatural moonlight falls i'm not a big supernatural fan but i love this pack you can get ghosts fairies witches werewolves genies oh and you do get vampires in this one or they enhance them or something but in, to me, vampires in the supernatural pack make sense. Vampires in the late night pack don't make sense. So I liked it within the supernatural environment. I love the build buy stuff on it. I love the clothing that comes with it. I hate zombies, but you can turn them off. There's actually a mod that is a no zombies mod. Oh, however, I haven't put it anywhere. I ain't gonna put it in the need. I, I, I feel like you need, I do feel like you need supernatural. Seasons, I'm not even gonna think about this one you have to have seasons it makes it so real you've got changing weather with this just that's all we talk about especially as brits we all we talk about is the weather you can you can get tanned and burnt in the sun you get drenched in the rain um you've got festivals you go to the main park changes and you get spring summer autumn and winter festivals and there's different things for each one it's just so fun and i always take my sims there it's always a good place to go and socialize do new things i just love seasons i you can't not have seasons it gives a new outfit option where you can do an outdoor um outfit oh my gosh and you also get aliens with this pack which again it kind of links with the supernatural a little bit i i think aliens are really fun um and when you get alien babies i think it's really cute University life. Hmm. I haven't played much with university life. I didn't go to university in my real life because I did loads of traveling. So you would have thought that I would think world adventures would be higher. But anyway, university, I don't feel like once you've been to university, the degrees add much to the game. It's kind of fun going to university, but does it really matter if you've got a degree or not? Not really, because normally when I play The Sims or I play my sim self who doesn't go to university, they they get just as far in their career, if not further, than the people who got a degree. So that doesn't really add anything, does it? Don't know. But it does have really good build and buy mode stuff, um, or buy, buy objects, and it does have really cool clothing in it, actually. I think I'm going to have to put this in okay. I kind of want to put it in love. It's kind of in between for me because it does have a lot of objects, but I just don't play with it okay so island paradise right my initial reaction is to put this in love even though i barely played this one either um il paradiso which is the world that comes with it is notoriously really really laggy and i haven't had a, a decent enough computer to play it but i have played with obviously a lot of the build buy and clothing options and i love all that because i love all that kind of vibe and with it you get houseboats diving mermaids and you can explore the caves and stuff obviously there's beaches and all that stuff so i feel like i'm gonna put this in love because it's just right up my street even though i don't haven't really played it much um i hope that's okay to put it in there hey i can do what i like it's my list um into the future hmm this is the last expansion pack that came out and do you know what it's different from every other expansion pack that came out for the sims 1 and the sims 2 we've never had an into the future pack before 
and that I really like. I have to say, I again hardly ever travel to the into the into the future world, so I don't really use it from that point of view. But I really like the objects that come with it. I like the advanced technology skill and things that you get with it. So I actually I like Into the Future. Um, I think I'd like to explore that a lot more. Well, I'm going to in my channel. Yeah. Okay. That I'm happy with that. I think for my expansion packs okay so now moving on to the stuff packs right high-end loft stuff i know that the objects are quite expensive in that uh, i know they were quite kind of modern looking oh it did have the sorry that was probably really loud um the 20th anniversary items which was objects from i think it was the sims one because it had the that love bed um an aquarium and oh the guitar so for that reason, I'm going to put it in the love because just the fact it's got the nostalgia from the other packs, actually you need it because it's got the nostalgia from Sims 1 in there. Fast lane. My first thought about fast lane is, well, it's got to be just cars and that's not very exciting. But when I think about it, it came with quite a lot of like garage items and things that you could clutter up community lots with or yeah, or like your garage and... I think it's got quite a lot of interesting objects and clothes in this one. So I'm going to put this in the OK. Outdoor living. This sounds like it should be right up my street, but I can't really remember it. I remember really liking the clothes. I remember that it's got hot tubs and they are kind of essential. So I am going to put that in the love. Town life. This is surprisingly a very good pack, actually. It came with a couple of, um, well, a few new buildings, most of which were duplicates from other things. But it did come with the Scrumptious Nibbles Cafe, and I use that all the time. I always put it in to what I'm doing. Oh, it comes with like a new park as well, and um, out, more outdoor play stuff for the kids, which is similar to um the generation stuff this is actually i i like that i like town life there's a lot in town life actually i think it's quite underrated i like that one now master suite this has got nice bedroom and bathroom bedroom and ensuite stuff if you will um it's also got some quite nice outfits but from what i remember it's mainly for women it's got quite, quite a lot of underwear and sleepwear which i suppose would make sense for the like bedroom bathroom thing i seem to remember it. i don't remember really what's in it though i'd imagine if i looked at it there's probably quite a lot of items i do use but i can't really remember it so i'm gonna put that in okay oh look casey perry sweet treats that's up no it's not up the top <laughs> it's down the bottom it has to go down the bottom it has to have its own category because it's so shocking why they thought to release this i have absolutely no idea everything about this pack is ridiculous the clothes are ridiculous the items are ridiculous you could probably use a couple of the items in kids rooms maybe and i think i maybe have like maybe a bedside table or something but honestly if if you put everything together you'd probably have some kind of diabetes attack just looking at the pack diesel stuff interestingly enough a fellow simmer named Nerdith had the exact same thought as me. I don't like The Sims having English in the games, which is also why the World Adventures worlds bothered me because they were based on real life worlds. Whenever I download any custom content or anything like that, I don't like posters or clothes or anything that has real English on. It has to be in Simlish because I feel like it doesn't fit in their world. So diesel stuff, I really, actually, I do really like it, but I don't use any of the clothes that have got diesel written on them because I don't think they're in the, they shouldn't be there. However, saying that, they do have lots of like modern objects and clothing and it is really good. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in love, but I really wish things didn't have diesel splattered on them because I, I can't use those items. I just can't, I can't. 70s, 80s, 90s, this is an overrated pack. You get disco balls, you get dance floors, you get lots of really cool clothes. And I actually use it a lot. Do you know what? I'm actually going to put it in the need. I'm going to be controversial. I'm going to put it in the need. I really like this pack. I'm going to, do you know what? I might even put town life in the need. No, I'm not. Stick to where you are, Vicky. Stick to where you are. Movie stuff. 
What did movie stuff have in it? Presumably movie stuff, but I can't think of one single item or clothes or anything that was in movie stuff. I, from what I remember, it's pointless. So I'm putting it in the burn. Katy Perry sweet trees burn. Okay, moving on to the Sim worlds. This won't take very long because uh, I haven't played most of them. Riverview. This was the free world that came out that was downloadable on the Sims 3 website. That is going to go in Hotter Than Hank Goddard Need purely because it has characters from The Sims 2 in it. And you do know I love a bit of nostalgia. It has the Broke family. It has Don Lothario. I mean, he's flipping epic. I mean, that's just brilliant. Um, the newbies are in there as well. And also the Simovich family. So for that reason, you have to have that. Barnacle Bay. Oh, again, this looks like this would be the sort of um, thing I'd like. But I seem to remember it being quite boring. Hmm, I'm going to put it in meh until I get to explore it again. Hidden Springs. I remember loving the look of this one. And I think this is the one that's got like the magical wishing well thing. Has it? I don't know. From what I remember, I think I love this one. <laughs> I'm going to put it up there. Luna Lakes. I have no real memory of this one i remember it looking very cool no idea about it i'm just gonna put it in meh no idea lucky palms that is like a deserty one i know it came with the casino which is really cool so i'm gonna put that in okay because i seem to remember that being quite cool sunlit tides it's on the same kind of vibe as island paradise so i'm gonna have to put that in love even though i've barely played with it monta vista came with like a pizza oven type thing and it was like an italian world <sighs> it's okay i'm gonna just stick it in okay well i don't have an okay do i oh i have goopy carbonara no i'm gonna put it in magical gnomes it's just a bit of a meh i don't know nah. aura skies i want to like this i think it's one that's got kind of eco-friendly vibe to it but for some reason i couldn't get into it i just didn't really like the townies i couldn't get into it i'm gonna just put that in bad i just didn't like it dragon valley closing the title it's got dragons you have to have dragons. Dragon Valley, you have to have. Midnight Hollow. I can't remember Midnight Hollow. I'm thinking it's kind of an alternative to a supernatural, but I honestly can't remember it. So I'm going to put it in meh because I can't remember it. Roaring Heights. I remember this being like a uh, 1920s retro vibe and you could get like the fixer up a car which you could and tinker with it until it became a real car oh, that's very cool and i remember the outfits and everything being really cool but i don't really remember playing any much but i'm pretty sure this is quite cool so i'm going to put that in in the okay so that is it gang that is my verdict i've put hotter than hank goddard ambitions pets supernatural seasons high-end lost stuff 70s 80s 90s riverview and dragon valley do you agree? In my love, enable llamas, generations, island paradise, into the future, outdoor living, town life, diesel, hidden springs and sunlit tides. In the goopy carbonara, it's all right. University life, fast lane stuff, mastering stuff, lucky palms and roaring heights. In the magical gnomes meh category, I've put world adventures. I know lots of people are going to disagree with me there. Lunar lakes, barnacle bay, monte vista and midnight hollow. Tragic Clown, a bad packs. Late night, everyone's going to disagree with me with that, I reckon. Showtime, no idea if people disagree with me with that one, but I think it's rubbish. And Iora Skies. And then in the Katy Perry, Sweet, Katy Perry Sweet Treats, burn it category is obviously Katy Perry Sweet Treats and movie stuff. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to know if I'm going to agree or disagree with myself once I've finished the rewind. This was supposed to be a quick video. It's probably gone on a bit long, but really interested to see what you think and yeah like i said what is future vicky gonna think who knows let me know in the comments see you in the next video bye thanks so much for watching i'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and if you could subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hit the bell icon you'll receive updates of when i upload a new video and obviously please share with your friends if you enjoyed it thanks very much see you in the next one